five things you did not know about as a buyer, which you absolutely must know before you start buying or looking at your first time home. My name is Fadi Kudir. I'm a local realtor with Sutton, Ottawa. Follow my channel here on Canada on the Rocks to learn a little bit more about what we can do to help you out. As a first time home buyer, there are five common things that you really need to be aware of to prepare for buying your first time home. First one, preparing a budget and fully understanding what does that look like? A lot of folks that we deal with when it comes to first time home buying, uh, they really have no clue what their financials look like. The biggest thing that I would, would urge them to do is sit down with your mortgage broker or sit down with a financial advisor and really figure out what you spend paycheck on between yourself and your spouse or yourself and your partner. Figure out exactly what allowance do you have in the budget for spending on a home. Uh, that will also get you to the next level up. The next step is really pre-approval. Having a pre-approval. Why does it? Why is it important to have a pre-approval in the process? The biggest reason that we find a lot of times when folks are coming to buy their first time at home, they're not very fully prepared. They don't really know how much they're going to spend spend on the home. Having a pre-approval, one, it's going to allow you to figure out what your budget is going to look like. Two, it's going to give you what type of home you should be looking at. For example, if my budget allows for a condo between 200 to, you know, 500,000, then that's the budget that I'm, I'm able to spend. My budget is close to 700. Maybe I'm able to go into possibly uh, another type of asset like townhome. My budget is now a million. I might be looking at a detached home. Number three, have a plan of what type of property you want to buy. Now that you've done the budget and the pre-approval, it's really important for you to now sit down with your partner and or yourself and figure out exactly what type of asset that you want to buy. A lot of the times we don't find a lot of buyers that are fully aware of, for example, they really want to buy that townhouse. But then when you sit down with them, you realize that, you know what, maybe that doesn't work for their commute. Maybe they want something a little bit more closer to downtown. Maybe they want something with a lot, you know, with a little bit more of bus traffic or uh, train traffic. Uh, so it just depends on, you know, you, you have to kind of pay attention to sorry what your day life looks like and then base that decision on that. Number four is figuring out who is involved in that process. And what I mean by that is really just sitting down with the professionals that are going to help you with the transaction. So what that entails is one, figure out the actual people that are going to be helping you out. For example, you will need um, a lawyer to help you with closing the transaction. You will need a mortgage approval. So maybe a mortgage broker or possibly a banker that's going to help you with figuring out the type of mortgage or the type of finance that you'll be needing. Uh, you will definitely need an inspector. That's someone that's going to help you figuring out there's any issues with the home, making sure that there's no issues with the home and having that clear vision and clear sort of understanding that when I'm moving in, there's really no issues here. I'm not going to find surprises later on when I close on the home. Number five is actually hiring a real estate agent. A lot of folks, when they're looking at buying a home, they think that they can do it on their own. With all honesty, we've seen it time and time again, there is really no reason for you to not have a buyer agent to represent. And the reason why, one, it's free. You don't really pay for it. At the end of the day, the buyer agent is going to negotiate their commissions throughout the sale from the selling agent, from the actual seller, if you will. But what that allows you, it allows you someone that's going to have your best interests at heart, to be able to negotiate on your behalf, to be able to look for things that you are not aware of. You know, as agents, we do this every day. You know, we're looking at 20, 30, 40 transactions a year. Some of us even more. What that means is that we, we are aware of a lot of things that you're not aware of. I'm able to, when I walk in the house, I'm able to see, you know, that there's a problem with the foundation. I'm able to see that there is possibly a leak in the attic, things like that, that you might not be able to see with the naked eye. An agent will be able to help you out with that. The other big one is negotiating on your behalf and more importantly, being able to really put the contract that's going to be putting your best foot forward and protecting you as a buyer. For more tips like this, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Canada on the Rocks. Hit the like button if you like what you see so we can create more videos like this. My name is Fadi Kudir with Sutton, Ottawa, and I'd love to help you out with some more.